This is a public service announcement. Please listen carefully before continuing with the guide. Yo, what's going on, Coneheads? It's your boy, Ashwim, and welcome to my Apex Legends Mobile Legends Guide. Covering all information as well as providing you the best tips and tricks to help you learn about every single legend in the game. Please note that this guide was made particularly with Battle Royale game mode in mind, so some of the tips and tricks that I will give you might only be applicable for Battle Royale. And with that info out of the way, let's not waste any more time. Let's kick it! Hey yo, before we get into the guide guys, make sure you check out iStream.com. This place will be your best one-stop shop for all things Apex Legends Mobile. Whether you're looking for guides, Apex Legends Mobile news, esports news, montages to watch, this website has it all. So make sure you check that place out and brush up on all things Apex Legends Mobile. Everyone, meet Watson, the best defensive character in Apex Legends Mobile, but also one of the most misunderstood and least picked characters in the game. But hey, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you understand how amazing Watson actually is. Watson's abilities are mainly geared towards defensive and supportive gameplays. Her main role is to protect the castle, and she does a very fine job with that. Watson is best placed behind her teammates, keeping them alive and preventing the enemies from pushing forward. Look, there's no hiding behind the fact that Watson is very under rated and least picked but hopefully after this guide you'll appreciate Watson a little bit more try her out and have some fun because you actually understand what her abilities do and with that in mind let's talk about Watson's abilities then Spark of Genius, Passive. This passive is actually hella useful than first meets the eye. First of all, one use of Ultimate Accelerant will fully recharge Watson's ultimate. Secondly, Watson can carry more Ultimate Accelerants because she can stack two Ultimate Accelerants in one slot. And last but not the least, Watson recharges one shield per two seconds while she's out of combat. And to top it all off, this passive regen stacks on top of the one that she gets from her ultimate. We'll cover that in a minute. Pro tip, definitely let Watson carry all the Ultimate Accelerants for the team more efficient this way. Perimeter security, tactical. In short, these are fence traps that you can set up to stop enemies from pushing past your defenses. Watson can create electric fences by dropping these nodes on the floor and connecting them, which then in turn damage and slows enemies if they walk through it. Watson can carry a maximum of 4 nodes at a time and gain 1 node for every 30 seconds. To connect and create an electric fence, each node cannot be more than 20 meters max apart. Each node can connect to 2 nodes max and has a 25 health per node. So a quick pro tip for you guys, with each node only having 25 HP each, they can be very easily destroyed. So when you're planting them inside a building, for example, try and have them as close as possible to the wall so the enemies cannot see them and shoot them easily. Once you put a node down, you can actually pick it back up and get a charge back. But take advantage of this when creating your network of electrified fences. Whenever an enemy walks through your fence, they will get a damage of 15 damage per tick and they will also get slowed down for about 2 seconds. On top of this, whenever an enemy walks through your trap, you will get an indicator telling you which trap has been set off by an enemy crossing it. Two things that you need to note that has nothing to do with your enemies. Whenever you're in node mode, you know when you're planting the nodes down, Watson will holster and put away her weapon, meaning you cannot use it at all. So be very careful when in node mode. And last but not the least, whenever Watson or her teammates walk through a fence, that specific fence will temporarily turn off for two seconds. Now before I give you any more tips, let's go with the ultimate first because her tactical and her ultimate work side by side very, very closely. Interception Pylon, Ultimate, Watson's bread and butter and where things really change for Watson. Watson can place down an electrified pylon that looks somewhat like an electrified generator that destroys any type of ordnance such as grenades, thermites, arc stars, and it also repairs shields over time. But let's go back to the ordnance bit. This is something that people don't actually understand and realize. Whenever you place this thing down, any type of projectile that comes towards this pylon will get absolutely erased. So you know how I said grenades, thermites, arc stars? Well, it doesn't stop there. Notice how I actually said projectiles. Projectiles come in many forms such as the missiles that come down from Gibby or Bangalore's ults. Yep, the pylon will send these missiles into the void. Non-existence. Goodbye. And with that in mind, this ult right here is a reason why Watson is not only an indoor defensive legend. Now, let's say you're fighting a squad pretty much out in the open field. The other squad has a Gibby. They see you hiding behind a rock. He's probably gonna throw his ult down at you guys and try and flush you guys out. Now, 
if you have a Watson, you can drop this pylon and watch the missiles disappear as they come down to your head. Now, because this pylon lasts for 90 seconds, you can literally just sit back and relax and watch the missiles disappear. See this blue circle thing at the bottom? Right, so the pylon can heal 250 shields, which is shared across all players. And this blue circle thing is an indicator roughly telling you how much shield there is left the pylon can repair for. The pylon has 150 base HP, stays out for 3 minutes, and only disappears when destroyed or if the 3 minute timer runs out. One thing to note about the ordnance mechanics, the pylon will not protect you from ordnance that has already landed, meaning if a grenade has been thrown and you put your pylon ultimate down, it will not destroy that ordnance. The pylon recharges shields at a rate of 2 shields per second, but the pylon makes no friends, meaning the pylon can and will also recharge the shield of your enemies as well as destroy your own team's ordnance. But the enemy's probably not gonna get too close to your pylon anyway. With the amount of info that you've just learned from this guy, pretty sure you'll know what to do to keep them away. But here's how Watson truly becomes a defense master. Watson's perimeter security charges only have a 3 second cooldown instead of 30 whenever Watson is near an interception pylon. So whenever you find that perfect spot that you want to fortify and keep enemies out of, here's what you should do. Drop your pylon behind a safe place, preferably behind cover, start setting up your fences, and once you're all set with the fences, pop an ultimate accelerant so you'll have your pylon ready to use again. Now, not only do you have a really hard place to infiltrate, but you also have a pylon planted just in case someone tries to throw an ordnance inside, and if you're within your pylon's range, you'll only have to wait a very few short seconds until you can start creating new fences again. Ooh, that's a lot of information for one ability alone. Watson is one hell of a defensive legend. So out of this entire abilities guide series, and because of the fact that, you know, Watson is undervalued, underappreciated, underrated, I wanted to spend a little bit more time really delving into Watson to try and encourage people to really try her out. But not only that, to understand Watson and to try her out properly. And let me make one thing clear. Watson's ability set does not mean camping. When someone tells you to play defensively, does not mean to go find a room and camp inside it with traps. But you know what? I think that's a story for another day. If you're interested in watching a more intermediate to advanced guide for Watson or any other legend, please stay tuned and subscribe because I will be dropping those videos in the near future. Well, I hope this guide helped. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please strongly consider dropping a like and help the video grow. And if you want some more content like this in the future, then hit that bell button and be notified as soon as I drop a new video. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.